It's your girl T here back with the Tuesday Vidya. I know you guys are having a beautiful blessed day because your tea timers is absolutely what we do. Our affirmation of the day is, I'm the first, the last, the only. We're the first, the last, and the only because we're the best. Where can you go from us? Nowhere, because we're the best. I wanted to discuss with y'all, when we discuss all the time SP, 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 I don't use the traditional form for SP that other people do. Like, I don't think of SP as just a romantic interest. SP can be a family member, a best friend, uh, whoever is significant in your life that you feel is not showing up as the version that you want them to, and you are hoping, wishing, praying for change in them. So a lot of times you'll have a fight with your friend, your, your best friend, and you're looking at them the same way you would an SP because we have various relationships in our lives and when we have a falling out with a best friend or a parent, it's just as traumatic as when we have a falling out with our romantic interests because they are people who made multitude of change in our lives or had a significant effect in our lives and we're, we're putting these people somewhat on a pedestal because a lot of us are trying to seek the approval from people outside of us, whether it be a teacher, a parent, a loved one, a significant person, a, sig a traditional significant person like a romantic interest what have you it's all the same in terms of you are reaching for something that for a lot of us feels like it's up here and we're down here hoping and praying that they get in touch with us and that we get back to where we once were with this person when you are prioritizing other people ahead of yourselves that means that your your um interpretation of yourself is that you are a little bit less than them you feel a little bit less than them your perception is that they are a bit above you and that's okay we i can't say that i know anybody on the face of the planet that at one time wasn't threatened by another human being in terms of they thought they were smarter than them prettier than them they got more attention than them they did things better than them I've been in that position. I'm sure all of you have been in that position. It's just human nature that we're comparative beings. So for you to put someone else on a pedestal ahead of yourself is very, very common. It's not, it's not any slight to you. All I'm saying to you is when I always put in your head all the time with you guys that you guys need to check the 3D for clues. If you're constantly comparing yourself to specific people, whether it be your friend, your lover, your, your parent, who, whoever, it is that you're comparing yourself to and you're constantly feeling less than that is a good indicator that your self-concept has to be bumped up a little bit because in our reality if we only have our own little bubble of reality and we're supposed to be the foundation of our reality and we're supposed to be what everything is filtered through and we are the lens that everyone sees us through and we see everyone else then we have to make sure that we prioritize ourselves before anyone else so that when they receive that energy from us they prioritize us in return a lot of the time and I know I did this myself we are prioritizing our significant people and we are jumping the gun to see them if they haven't talked to us for weeks we're answering every one of their phone calls if they text us randomly we know we feel like second choice for them and we're allowing it and we still go and hang out with them even though we are we are pushing through our own boundary that we were going to say no to them because we feel secondary to them. We're still going through with it anyways because we're not prioritizing ourselves. When you prioritize yourself, you won't feel guilty about saying no to certain things. You won't feel guilty about putting up boundaries. You won't feel guilty about saying to yourself, this behavior is not conducive to what I deserve. And when you decide to treat me the way that you deserve, then you can come back at me. I've done this a million times, not only with, uh, in certain ways with romantic partners, but I've done this with jobs. A lot of jobs that I've had, I took certain behaviors that I would not allow now because I thought, <coughs> excuse me, that since I was employed by them, that, you know, it wasn't right, but I had to, I had to listen because I was an employee. You are an amazing human being. You don't have to let anyone push past what you consider your bottom line, your boundary. You have to put up boundaries around you in terms of what you will and won't allow. And that doesn't get pushed 
for whomever's coming in and out of your reality. You're the king or queen of your reality, so you can't allow other people to dictate what the rules of your world are. They have their own little bubble. They can dictate the rules in their world, but when you're dictating the rules in your world, you tell people how to treat you. You tell people the way they show up for you. You look at people the way that you see yourself, which should be that you're a king or a queen and you only deserve to have respectful, tasteful behavior in your world. And if people come in and they're pushing those boundaries and you're feeling uncomfortable, it's your job as the king or queen of your environment to be like, that doesn't work for me. And either you need to back away from that person and, you know, maybe take a step back and reevaluate what you want to do about that relationship. Or you can tell them, I don't feel comfortable with the way you're treating me right now. I need to take a break. So I'll get back to you when I decide what's going to go on. You're a king or a queen and you're asking for your SP, whomever that is, to prioritize you. So you have to be able to learn how to prioritize yourself. Take yourself on dates. Go for walks. Do things alone. Be comfortable with yourself. Be comfortable with what you do and don't like. Because if you have no plan in place of what you do and don't like and what you expect out of another person that you are connected to in any way friendship romantically what have you then how do you expect them to show up for you and know what you don't know yourself about yourself if you all have questions you know what to do i love y'all but not as much as you should be loving yourselves have a beautiful blessed tuesday bye